Okay guys, we're on a job site this morning and uh, I'm on the roof uh, setting some curves and cutting some holes and Stacy's being the ground man. And Stacy found this behind the building had fallen out of a tree. Where is the little fella? <laughs> oh no, you're gonna... Where is he at? Oh, they're this bad. Oh, they're that bad. Oh, there he is. That was a squirrel that had fallen out of its nest. So we wrapped him up and took him to the shop. Then we got finished up and cut the day short. I called my mother because she's the authority in this area. And she told me to go get some goat's milk and get a little feeder. So we got a little thing for cleaning out ears and a little suction thing with a nipple on it if it survives and gets a little bigger. She told me to give it a little bit of goat's milk. So we're gonna feed him every couple of hours. And she said, Give it to him, but don't <laughs> choke him. He's kind of cold, baby. Wake up, buddy. There you go. There you go. Open your mouth. There you go. She said, put a little bit in there and don't choke him. Oh, it's muggy. He's all right. I have done these things. I kind of grew up this way, but I had to call her because she's the authority. <laughs> see, now he's taking it, see, second time. We tried a little bit early, and he wasn't too down on it. I think that'll do it. I'll do it for right now. That's fine for right now. Okay, wrap him up nice and warm. It wasn't too warm, baby. Oh, I'll to... go get my heating pad. No, 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 no. I don't know about all that, but. <laughs> Beside this saucepan will be his new home for a while. So if he survives, guys, let's. Make it where he can breathe. He can breathe in there. Okay. That's it. See you next feeding.